I have so much stuff. It's like actually wild. It might be wondering why I haven't really done a vlog in a while that's like a day in the life or like at home. And to be honest, I guess I'm sharing this for those people. I normally think everyone is cutting their grass today. Like it is wild how much like people are cutting their grass i think it's because today is one of the first nice days that we've had in a while um i have a couple packages outside so let me go grab those i have so much stuff it's like actually wild how much i have um i gonna put it all up here but i'm gonna do a little summer haul with you guys before i start doing all the stuff that's like not so fun i really need to um Honestly, I just have an insane amount of stuff that I need to do today. I need to do a little closet clean out. I need to do a garage clean out, open these boxes. Um, so we're gonna start with the fun stuff and do a little summer roll. Most of the stuff is stuff that I bought, but I also um, got some PR. Like this box right here is from, and I don't usually like sign up for PR, um, but somehow people like find my addresses. Um, this is from, it says United and Free. Looks like they gave me a little package. And this is their balm. It's multi-purpose to soften coarse hair, dry skin, and stretch marks. Let's open this up. Ooh, I like the packaging that it's in. It's in this like, it looks like a biodegradable type thing. Um, this is it, the balm, it says United and Free on it. And let's see how it smells, my big, oh my God, this smells incredible. Wow, I really like that. It smells really good. And then um, I also gave, it says soothing oil. I love oil, um, honestly anytime, but especially in the winter. Um, and then this is, a multi-purpose to soothe ingrown razor burns and split ends. Smell this one. Mm, it smells yummy. It's like not fruity, but like I don't know. It smells really good. I also love the packaging of these. These are like really nice. Um, they're like a heavy beauty thing. Um, so that was nice of them to send that. They also sent this little comb. I really don't know how people get my address sometimes because I didn't give my address out for this PR, but I am very thankful for it. Um, that was the first package. Don't mind my nail. I have to go and get it fixed. The other ones are all fixed except for the one, which I feel like when one nail is broken, it just is like so annoying because I don't want to go in just to like fix one nail. Um, so this is from, make sure this is my package and not Brady's, Amazon. It's mine. And, ooh, yay. Okay, I got some liquid IV. Much needed, we actually ran out. Um, I got watermelon this time because I was kind of getting sick of the strawberry because I've drank it so many times when I've been like this close to being hungover. So I just need to like try something different. Um, then I also got my favorite socks. These socks are just incredible. Um, this is what the little container looks like, or, thing that they come in looks like but this is a little sock they're like almost baby socks like they just barely hit above um your shoe like in your sneakers so it's kind of like the perfect sock length and now that i found them i buy them in so many colors i have them in the white now i have them in gray i just bought um and i also have them in like a um beige like brown color and then I also bought one of these suction hooks. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you guys have probably already seen these hooks before, but I had to buy another one. This is what they look like on the front. Um, I had to buy another one because in our bathroom, um, we have two towels that hang up in there, but when friends come over, we don't really have anything to like, I don't know, hang our stuff up with for them. So yeah, um, I'm gonna open this one last, that's another fun one. I got this package for my friend. Um, she's doing like a really cool new brand or has created a new brand with these. 
really cute nails i'm gonna get like closer so you guys can see um but if you love nails but you just like hate going to get them done or you think they're just too expensive she has a brand called quickies i'm pretty sure it launches in a couple weeks but this is what they look like and these nails literally will like stand the test of time they stay on they're really affordable um so she sent these to me i can't wait to try them because as you can see my nail is broken and that's like the most annoying thing about like getting your nails done is like when one breaks you're just like screwed they also have a little education for you to figure out like how to put them on um it says help and give you back your precious time and hard earned money which is cool so quickies is the brand and all of it comes in a package just together with like the nails they also send like nail glue um and then they send like a little file so like everything you need literally comes sent to you then i got from my one of my favorite brands for um like i don't know like makeup removal skincare type stuff they um sent me their luminous facial cleansing oil which is this is the only makeup remover i use literally the only one unless i'm like really drunk and i like don't want to take off my makeup and i'll use those like nasty like you know wet white things or whatever but i this is the only thing that i like genuinely use um and then they also sent their mascara but my top is literally falling off right now so i'm gonna fix that there we go um so yeah they sent that and then i also think they sent something else which let's see what's in here i just love their brand um i love supporting like smaller businesses and theirs is a smaller brand for sure um i feel like it just gives me a sense of like like i know that i'm giving money that's gonna go straight to like just a human you know like i don't know if that sounds weird but like it's not going to like I don't know, someone who's like a freaking, I don't know, doesn't need it, I guess. I mean, I guess everyone could need money, but I don't know if it's making literally any sense at all. But I love shopping small or semi-small for that reason, and I cannot open this for the life of me. They have this in here good and tight. They also have other stuff that's like really good. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, good. This. Huh. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see what they sent in this one. It's another package from them from Skin. And. Oh my gosh. They sent more makeup remover and mascara. That's cool. Nice. Good stuff. I go through that so fast, so it's nice that they sent that. Then um, I got this package from, um, this is by the book. Don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna try to do this again because this looks like it's in here tight and I just don't know if I'll be able to open this one. So I'm gonna open this. This is a package I'm really excited about. Um, it's from Grey Bandit and it is excited got two swimsuits so this is the top and it's really fun you guys know i don't wear a ton of color um but i really like this a lot um i wanted to add more color in with my swimsuits i feel like the lighting is like a little off i don't know if that's just like me there we go um but this is the bottom i'm trying to add in more color because i want it just to be i don't know fun summer and i don't know my swimsuits at least probably not everything but definitely my swimsuits this is the top i'm hoping that this top fits um just because i got the top i'm pretty sure in a large in the blue and i usually get medium but i just didn't want like my chest to fall out so bottoms top if you guys want to see what they look like on check out my instagram because i feel like i will probably like style them or check like try them on there or on my tiktok um i'm gonna go get some scissors for this because this is just wild i'm honestly just sitting you guys up on all the boxes in our kitchen so you might be a little off center but we have an insane amount of boxes because the kitchen is here um it's literally what you're on right now i'll show you in a second but it's not like 
like obviously up yet. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, what the heck? This is a book. Wow, oh my gosh. Disney, Disney Publishing World Worldwide. Hmm, oh my gosh. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, wow. I feel really cool that I got this, to be honest. Um, this is cool. So Disney sent this box and it's a book. It's called By the Book by Jasmine Gullery. Um, and they also sent over these little notepads. I'm gonna eat these little candies and pick up all this stuff and I bet you guys have seen it. Um, oh my God, these little hearts, these are cute. Mmm, oh my god. Wow, that's really good. I love gummies. I don't know if you guys know that. Mmm, 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 mmm. So you guys might be wondering why I haven't really done a vlog in a while that's like a day in the life or like at home. And to be honest, <laughs> it has been really hard to vlog at home. And I think it's just because like we're we have a lot going on right now like with the house you guys can see it's like definitely coming along like we are almost done with all the baseboards we finished the flooring we finished the painting on most of the walls not everything but it's coming along but it's like the closer it gets the more like i'm ready for it just to be done and we do have a long way to go until like the downstairs is done but i don't know i just <sighs> I'm just so ready, like beyond ready for all this to be like just finished. Um, and I think vlogging at home sometimes for me like adds more stress because the, as much as I love to vlog, I sometimes just feel really like overwhelmed with how the house looks. I hate like how the kitchen looks sometimes. I hate how my closet looks sometimes hate how our living room looks and there's like nothing on the walls there's not decoration so like it's just been a really hard time to vlog because i'm not in a space that i'm loving and i feel like in the past it was easier for me to overlook if i was in a space that i wasn't necessarily loving because i don't know at least it was like put together but like i mean half the rooms like don't have paint or they don't have like baseboards and like my clothes are all over the place and it just makes things like really chaotic sometimes most of the time to be honest um so i struggle with that a lot and just to be like fully real and transparent i feel like i love creating content when i'm gone because it's almost like escape from this house and like the renovation process um but i always try to be really positive and i think what helps me be positive is focusing on like what's actually good, what's going well, and like how fast things are coming along and how it really isn't as bad as I think it is. Like, you know, we've been in this house for, it'll be a year in July and obviously it's May right now. And you know, that's just a long time to have to like keep your head in a good headspace. And along with that, we've done a ton of stuff that has also added stress, like we, bought a strip mall, I think I told you guys that. And then we also right now are closing on some other properties, like six other properties. And we also have like the other rentals that we have. And a lot of these are like, I mean, we're not just like millionaires, you know? So like a lot of them are paying for themselves, but it's not like we're bringing in a ton of additional like income right now, but it's adding a ton of extra stress. So like we have management for that, but and still is like so stressful so all of that on top of like renovating the house and i mean i think i told you guys how like the bathroom well let me just give you a couple of updates so you guys can like kind of figure out like where we're this at. update but this is the kitchen the kitchen is in they moved everything here um not that long ago but it's like literally sitting in the middle of our kitchen and there's also some in the garage they also tore out the wall because they're getting ready to work on the kitchen now that the kitchen stuff is in here um but they still like have a ways to go you know they also have more 
um, stuff in here. This is the garage that I'm gonna try to clean out a bit today and organize, but you can see all of that stuff over there is also kitchen stuff. Um, so it just makes it really hard to stay organized and like positive and stuff. We got this railing in, which is so nice and I'm really excited about it. Um, it looks so good. We still have to get like little pieces up here just to close that in. Um, they also got most of the baseboards in, not all of them, but you can see a lot of them are in, but then there still are some missing like here, but these are in. Um, we're also missing like the plug, like outlet covers, uh, but we did get the wall painted. So like that was a big thing and really exciting. But I mean, right now in every room, there's like stuff literally everywhere. Like these shoes do not have a place to go because I don't have a closet right now. So like everything is literally just like everywhere. Um, a lot of the lights don't have lights on them or like actual lights because we for one haven't bought them yet and two, um, we just wanna like make sure that what we buy is gonna match what's already in the house. Um, going in here. Baseboards are not done here yet, and we found out that this um, vanity does not fit, or it like won't work in our bathroom, so like that's a whole thing that we're gonna have to figure out. Um, and in the bathroom, vanity right here is still open, so we have to buy another one, and the light is still open, and this little spot is still open. So this hasn't really had a ton of like, updates yet still loving it though it's like an absolute dream to like use this bathroom um but not having anything to like wash your hands in is like a whole thing then this corner is just a mess so this all was in the um guest room and now it's out here because they were doing the floors in the guest room but this is not going to go back in the guest room like all of our stuff this is mostly our like bathroom stuff but there, it can't go in the bathroom because we don't have a vanity yet but it'll go in the vanity and then in the closet i have like all of this stuff but like there just is not a place for it like it just there's a lot of stuff i need to get rid of i haven't done that yet um so yeah this is just i'm gonna try to work on this a little bit today because i feel like it will take away some of my stress when i kind of like get rid of and do some spring cleaning and get rid of stuff in the closet but yeah those are most of the updates we're closing this door because this is the bathroom um it's not done yet um we have not gotten um the downstairs basement to like not or the upstairs bathroom to not leak into the basement yet which is also another thing um so it's definitely been a challenge i think to stay positive to stay in a good headspace to vlog at home to be honest because like all of the stress is literally right here um so i feel like i vlog a lot on trips or i'll vlog like if i'm doing shop with me's and stuff but being at home and vlogging almost adds more stress and like as i'm creating this vlog I'm not stressed by any means, but it's almost like I hate having to share our house being the way that it is because it's not where I want it to be. And I guess I'm sharing this just for those who, if you're living in a situation that you just aren't loving, like maybe you're living in someone else's home, maybe you're living in an apartment that you hate, maybe you are doing a renovation yourself, um, maybe you just don't have the income to buy the decor that you want, or maybe you don't have enough bedrooms or whatever it is, and you're constantly seeing like everyone on Instagram or Facebook or friends or whatever, just having that like really aesthetic home that you like really want, I guess I'm sharing this for those people because I feel like, I don't know, I get frustrated not that I don't have what other people have because that doesn't really bother me, but I think I get more frustrated that like my own home decor is in the basement and I can't put it up or like all of my bathroom stuff is like on a bookshelf, <laughs> like not organized. And you guys know that I love to be organized. Um, I mean, this even right here is like, there's tons of stuff in this closet, but there's no doors on it yet because we want to buy glass doors um, and they just haven't been purchased yet. So. There's a lot of stuff that comes with the renovation and I really try to be transparent while also still staying in a good headspace. And I think what helps me the most to just be happy when things aren't perfect and how to stay in a good headspace when things aren't perfect is to focus on like what is actually good and like that has been the saving grace for me this entire renovation. Like, and by focusing on what's good, I mean like 
I look outside and I see that there's a beautiful lake. I see that like outside is like warm and it's bright and it's sunny and I have way more light in this house than I ever have in any home. I can go outside and like, you know, lay in the grass and relax. Um, I mean, even just looking, let's go, let's go look at the view again. If you look out the door in our backyard, this is our neighbor's dock, but um, this is ours over there. Um, I think I told you guys we're getting that like fixed at the end of the summer. Um, we already have that scheduled, but this open green grass area is incredible. And being able to just like lay out, see the grass, like see the lake is something that I'm so thankful he for. literally saw that I like opened the door and he wanted to go out because he just loves going outside out here. It's one of his favorite things. I think that's truly what's helped me though. Like more than anything is just focusing on what we do have. Um, so if you're someone who's like going through not even something specifically similar, but like something that just like a situation that you wish wasn't the way that it was and you wish that it were different, like really try to pull out the good, not even in the situation, but just in life in general. Um, I feel like I've been focusing on that more than anything and it's really been getting me through. And you guys know like we've had a lot of stuff going on with like our family and like you know, I've talked about like friendship struggles and like I've had a new career in the last year and just so many changes. I feel like the only thing that's gotten me through all the changes is literally like focusing on what's good. Um, so yeah, anyway, I figured I would share. Hopefully that helps someone. Um, comment below if you've maybe been struggling with this. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm alone in things and then other times I'm like, oh my God, like literally everyone else feels the exact same way. Um, so yeah, anyway. I am going to work on my closet because my clo closet is wild right now and I think if I get some like a little organization to it I will just feel a lot better about it. Also the vanity that isn't like gonna be used in our bathroom. I think if I also like take that vanity out of there and like make the room look a little bit more homey I'll feel better about it. Like right now it just kind of feels like a dumping ground for stuff. Um, but I really want to make it more of like a room. Um, the baseboards are half done in there. So like once those are done, like that room is pretty much finished except for the closet, which is going to be like a minute till that's done. So I just don't want to like keep myself from feeling relaxed in a space that I love, like my bedroom where I like to read and stuff if I can help it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and yeah, let's head in the bedroom and get some closet cleaning done. so proud i got a ton of stuff off the racks this is all the stuff that i um took off the racks i mean there's like a good amount of stuff here i'm really proud of like how much i am like letting go of and then um this is my closet right now it's so much more organized and i organized it with um these are like shorts that aren't like sweatpants shorts and skirts trousers all here and then these are all um crew necks hoodies and a couple sweaters like i didn't really want to put a ton of sweaters i put most of the sweaters down here just because you know it's like i don't really like them to get damaged on the corners of um this actual sweater but i also don't really like folding them like i find that i don't wear them as often so in here i put my sweatpants and my uh jogger shorts and then here i have like t-shirts hats like 
real chill stuff. I also have a couple of things folded down here in these baskets, um, which I love. And um, I try not to fold stuff because I just find that I don't use it as often when it's like in a basket. Like I have to see it, which is why when we get our new closet, I'm excited to have everything like out in the open. So these are all like tank tops, um, and then these are also tank tops. These are t-shirts and bodysuits, and then I have a couple dresses back here, not many, and then these are like button-up shirts um, and blazers. So it's easier for me to like find stuff when it's all organized, like by like items. So like if I'm looking for a blazer, I know to look here. If I'm looking for like a tank top or crop top, I look here. And then down here I have swimsuits and then in here there's like one pair of joggers and then like my snowsuit. I just don't have anywhere to put my snowsuit right now, but when I do, I will like put it in storage or something. And then all of that right there is like my workout stuff and oops, this is not supposed to be there. This is supposed to be in here. I put like my pajamas and stuff um, also in here with the t-shirts and the hat. So that's um, kind of like how I have things organized and I feel like um, now that I have a lot of stuff out um, and ready to like go to someone else, I just feel so much better. You guys are like holding off on cleaning something, organizing something, just do it now. Like you will feel so good. Like this whole room is like clear. There is like a big pile over there of clothes that I need to get rid of at some point, but it definitely looks so much better. And I feel so good now that it's like pretty much organized. We do have that little like cardboard over the window there because they were doing the drywall and stuff in here and they still aren't done with the baseboards. But once the baseboards are done in here, then we'll like take that off and like I'll put up curtains and stuff. But so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and I feel so much better now. I was off this vlog here. Brady just got home. So I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of the night with him. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was like very like at home, you know, like homey type video i haven't done one of these in a while um so if you guys did like it definitely let me know because i'll make more like them um and if you just like the travel vlogs or like the shop with me's and stuff then i will continue to just make those instead but i feel like these are more I don't know, true to my everyday life which is why i like to make them so you guys can see like what i really do every day um how life like actually is um oh my god guys this sunset let me it's gonna be a point. beautiful sunset i can already see it like looks just so pretty i love the sunsets here but anyway um hope you guys enjoy this video i'll see you guys in the next one i love you all so much bye guys